But I, I, I don't suppose that everybody would have noticed it. Uh, it was not foremost in my thinking at the time, recalled at all, that the, the color of one's skin should not interfere with performance or, or general behavior. Uh, for a start, George Headley, a West Indies player, of course, and Bradman. Hammond, those were the top players in those days, I would have thought. Of course, and, uh, in, in several ways, uh, in, fact, in, in fact, he was not the first black captain. I think Headley would have been the first black captain. He was the one uh, who captained West Indies back in 1948. But Frank Ward took over, I suppose, uh, that must be a huge thing for 1961, you. 1961, I think it was. It must be a huge thing for you. Of so course, of course, for the, for the entire West Indian pub, cricket in public. The controversial run out, I would deal with that first. I thought that, uh, that uh, uh, the dec decision was uh, a very bad one, but in the game, uh, in the game of cricket, I suppose, uh, the element of decision-making making, uh, would not always depend on the, the right result. And therefore, whenever an umpire gives you out, I think he feels that you are definitely out. And I don't think there's any dishonesty attached to it. Great performance, I would think. I would think, and uh, over the years, it has grown stronger because no one has got anywhere near to it. So I, th I suppose that uh, it would always remain in one mem in one's memory. I suppose so. I suppose uh, when one is fit. Uh, no distance is, is too long, really, and uh, I would have thought that without the problems with pulling muscles and so on would, would have interfered with it.